The content you are about to watch contains AI-generated voices of real-life individuals. The dialogue you hear in the video does not accurately represent the individuals depicted in the video. We hope you enjoy. I tell you what, fellas, that last house was absolutely cracked. Yeah, no kidding. Crunch and Kit Kat candy bars, absolutely amazing. What about that one house that was giving out small packs of Sour Patch Kids? Oh yeah, that house was pretty good too. I hope you haven't forgotten about our little contest, Donnie. How many candy bars have you gotten so far? Oh shit. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't been keeping count, George. Let's tally up everything we've got once we get back to Obama's house. All right, sounds good to me. Okay, so I've got 24 candy bars in total. How much did you get, George? Damn it, I only got 21 this time. Ha 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 ha, looks like I win this year. Better luck next time, George. Yeah, I'll beat you next year for sure. Anyways, wanna start trading some candy? Oh, you bet your ass I do. What would you want for that crunch bar there? Hey, sorry to interrupt your trading session, gentlemen, but Joe wants us to record a horror game right now. He's uh, really insisting on it too, so you're going to have to trade candy later. Hey guys, I got a really spooky game that'll really scare our pants off. You fellas down to play? Well, as long as you keep your pants on, then sure, I'm down to play a horror game. Yeah, same here. All right, I'll go boot the game up, fellas. Take a seat, everyone. Okay, so what's this game about, Joe? Oh, you're about to find out, Barry. Well, my expectations are high after your last game recommendation, Joe. I better be impressed. For as long as you can remember, legends have been told about the derelict mansion upon the hill that casts a blanket of darkness over the town. The history of the house itself is virtually unknown, and even the town's oldest residents cannot remember the mansion's origin. Being an avid history enthusiast, you embark up the mountain to visit the manor, hoping to shed some light on the backstory of this crumbling fortress of darkness. Okay, I'm already liking this so far. Very interesting. Oh, okay, I'm already liking the look of the game so far, Joe. Ha 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 that's very clever. Oh my God, guys, look at the cute little ghost girl. Isn't she adorable? Please come here and give Uncle Joey a nice big hug, pretty please. Humble player, make it through a thousand rooms. Can you find what lies at the end? Or is there even an end? Because I, I don't really know. Anyway, just, just go. Are you sure this is a horror game, Joe? It seems goofy rather than terrifying to me. Trust me, George, this game is super duper scary. Just you wait and see. Is it scarier than the Michelle Obama era of school lunches? Even more terrifying than that. All right, that's Cap and you know it, Joe. Those school lunches were perfectly healthy and very much needed across the United States. All right, then explain this horrid excuse of a healthy school lunch then. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck off with the soundboard, Donald. Moving on from that shit, the ambience is actually making me feel a little anxious as I navigate these rooms and hallways. It feels like you're being watched, doesn't it, Barry? Yeah, it does, and it's really fucking creepy. Ah! Holy shit! There's no way you just got jump scared by a cute little tree stump character, Donald. Seriously? Hey, fuck off, man. I wasn't expecting that shit to be there. Don't worry, Donnie. I'll protect you from any tree stumps we come across, man. Shut the fuck up, Joe. I don't need any protection from any tree stumps, you goof. Hey, does anyone else think it's odd that the music suddenly stopped? I'm getting kind of creeped out now. Yeah, I don't like this at all, but damn it, there's no other way to go but forward. It honestly feels like we're in some kind of labyrinth now. Everything looks tame now, but I've got a bad feeling we're gonna come across some fucked up shit. Yeah, that's what I'm bracing myself for. Jesus Christ, I don't like that sound at all. Well, while Barry here makes his way to the 50th room, I want to tell you guys something fucked up that happened to this game. So, this game wasn't always called Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Its old name used to be Spooky's House of Jump Scares, but back in 2016, some mobile game company based in Germany gave the developers of this game a cease and desist for using the name Spooky's House of Jump Scares because it infringed on the name they were trying to trademark called Spooky House. Pretty fucking stupid, right? God damn, are you serious, Joe? That's some bullshit if you ask me. Yeah, I agree with Donald here. I bet their company didn't even get that far anyways. Yeah, those folks won't be allowed on my ranch, that's for sure. Oh yeah, and get this. They released a game called Spooky House 
Pumpkin Crush, which is pretty much just some stupid ass Candy Crush clone with a Halloween theme. My theory is that the only reason why they got on these developers' ass about the name is so that they could probably direct all the people searching up Spooky's House of Jump Scares and end up finding Spooky House Pumpkin Crush instead. You honestly could be right on that for all we know. I'm not gonna hold you boys. I just looked up their mobile game library and it's all just generic puzzle type of games they've made. Nothing interesting whatsoever. Yeah, I expected as much, honestly. Yeah, no surprise there. Oh, okay, so room 50 is a safe area, Joe? Yeah, every 50 rooms is a safe area with a safe point. I know something is following me, but I feel like I am prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I am making progress and reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I am dreadfully thirsty. Yeah, something is definitely following us too. I can feel it in my damn bones. Well, whatever the threat may be, Barry should be able to outrun him. His people are pretty good at that shit. Now, nah, hold the fuck up. What the hell are you implying, Joe? Oh, come on, Barry. Joe's just trying to say that you're just really athletic is all. Yeah, I doubt that. Remember, I know where you sleep, Joe. Ooh, hot fields of ice cream. Of course he fell asleep. Ink. Not quite quenching my thirst. Taste is terrible. Stains are terrible. I don't think drinking it was a very romantic idea. Well, no shit, you idiot. What did this guy think was gonna happen when you drink ink? Uh, what the fuck is that slimy shit on the ground? Oh, sorry about that, guys. That was my fault. I just couldn't contain myself. What the fuck, Joe? Okay, anyways, the note says spouting, splashing, soaking, innards, ingest, invoking, nailing. Never. So, wait, what the fuck is that sound? Hey! Get the fuck out of there, Obama! What the fuck even is that thing? I don't fucking know, and I don't fucking care. Just get the fuck out of Dodge and don't look back. What the hell do you think I'm doing, Joe? Is that slime monster still chasing us, Barry? Uh, I don't know, George. I guess I could reluctantly look behind me and find out. Yeah, fuck that. Look out, Barry. Oh, fuck you, stupid slime fucker. Okay, I'm pretty sure I lost him by this point. Yeah, you're probably safe now, I think. Yeah, he's definitely not chasing you anymore. You're in the clear, Barry. Whoa, what the hell kind of room is this? If I had to guess what purgatory looks like, this is exactly how I'd describe it. Yeah, you're on point with that description, George, not gonna lie. This room's gimmick is giving me Ocarina of Time Lost Woods vibes. What about you fellas? Okay, yeah, I'm starting to see what you mean by that, Joe. I definitely see the similarities now. God damn it. Good stuff, Barry. Well done. Huh, well, that wasn't all that bad. Ah, holy fuck! Ain't no way you just got your ass spooked by a cute teacup, bro. <laughs> Imagine getting scared by a teacup. Couldn't be me. Don't worry, Donald. We've all got a thing or two that we're scared of, and yours is valid. Fuck you guys. I'm not scared of a damn teacup. I'm just fucking skittish is all. These cheap-ass jump scares are just getting to me somehow, that's all. Ah! What the fuck? Ha 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 You got scared, loser. Can't handle a stupid cardboard cut out of a monster, Barry? Oh, shove it, Donald. You know that shit looked creepy, too. Oh yeah, floor 100, let's go, boys. All right, let's go ahead and read this note. I found something today to satisfy my unromantic thirst. I awoke today from a brief faint and found before me a bottle of red wine. I am not sure what brand or year, for there is no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. Wait a dang minute, did he just describe blood? Red like wine and he describes it as a metallic taste? Yeah, that's definitely blood. God damn, that's nasty. You know what's really fucking nasty? If you say my wife's school lunches, I'm gonna pop you in the damn mouth, Biden. No, I'm talking about those people who want to give trick-or-treaters non-candy type shit like apples or vegetables and shit. That crap should be a criminal offense on Halloween for real. Okay, I can understand regular apples in particular, but you gotta admit that candied apples fucking slap. Actually, yeah, candied apples get a pass for sure. Oh yeah, don't forget popcorn balls too, Joey. That shit is kind of silly to give out on Halloween. On God, no cap. I like popcorn and all, but if you're dropping that shit and not a Snickers bar or a pack of Skittles into my pillowcase, then your house is getting fucking dunked on with toilet paper, 100%. Oh yeah, on Skibbity. I'm gonna fucking spray you if you say that cringe-ass shit again, Joe, I swear to God. I'm sorry, Daddy Obama, I won't do it again. Ah! 
Yeah, don't test me, you damn goof. Ooh, are those arcade machines over there, guys? Well, hot damn, it sure as hell is, George. I think I'll take a crack at this one really quick to de-stress a bit. Oh, so you're killing people to keep your blood bar filled, I guess. Yeah, get them all, Obama. Leave no survivors. You died, Barry. Yeah, no shit, Captain Obvious. Well, that little game definitely lowered the tension a bit, I admit. Let's check out that other arcade machine we saw right next to this one. I'm curious what minigame is on it. Wait, why the hell did my name change to Spooky? Maybe Spooky was jealous of Barry's score? Ha 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 ha! If that's true, then Spooky's one petty loser in that case. Uh -huh. What's what going on? Who fucking threw that? Is Donald all right? Yeah, he's just knocked unconscious. Nothing major, I don't think. Hey, what's that piece of paper that's stuck to that brick on the ground? A piece of paper? Let me see that. Insult me again and you losers won't live to see tomorrow. Have fun. Signed by Spooky. Oh wait, P.S. Donald is fat. <laughs> That's funny. In any case though, do you guys think that note is actually from Spooky though? There's no way it could be. It's gotta be somebody messing with us for sure. Shit, I don't know man. What I do want to know is why do I keep getting my damn windows broken so often? Well here's another question to add to the pile. How do you even play this mini game here? I don't know, George. I guess I could try going up to Pac-Man over there and see what happens when we touch him. Okay, that makes sense, actually. Yeah, that was, uh, interesting to say the least. All right, what the fuck kind of area is this? This is eerie as all hell. <laughs> God damn, my head really hurts. What the hell happened? How long was I out? You weren't out for too long, Donnie, just a couple of minutes. A brick came flying through the window and knocked you clean on the noggin, Donnie. But you should be fine. What the fuck, dude? That is absolute nightmare fuel. Also, we got a threatening message from Spooky, I guess. She basically told us to not make fun of her or else she'll get mad. Well, we think it's someone playing a sick prank on us, at least we don't know if it's actually from her, you know? Subject 5 is growing more and more restless. I told Spook we need more funds for sedatives, but she just laughed and flew into the ceiling. Without more chemicals to keep these things docile, I'm not sure how much longer we can keep them here safely. She also called you a fat ass, by the way. Oh yeah, of course, because I'm obviously over 300 pounds. Whatever, I don't care. Do you guys think Subject 5 is currently wandering this laboratory? Oh god damn it, I really hope not. I don't like that damn sound, man. What the hell? God, I'm so scared right now, guys. Can you please hold me, Trumpy Wumpy? All right, fine, but just this once, Joe. Thank you so much, Trumpy. You're a real pal. I believe Subject 5 is loose. The glass around its container is shattered, and I can faintly hear clicking coming from the ceiling. I don't know what will happen now. If it is out and alive, then this is probably my last report. The clicking is getting louder now. Well, what the fuck? Oh, hell no, I'm getting out of here! Ah! Something's gonna jump out and eat us! Keep going, Barry. Don't stop. Come on, Barry. If you outrun it, I'll get you a KFC bucket. Fuck you, Donald. I'll still take the KFC bucket, though. Well, I think we lost the ceiling creature thing. Good fucking riddance. It's too bad we didn't get to see what the creature looked like, though. It was probably that one dinosaur head-looking thing, for all we know. Hi. Yeah, hi there. I'd like an order of four Big Macs, several Diet Cokes with several servings of fries with some filet -o fish sandwiches, please. Oh, and add a few smoothies with that, too. Oh, she sounds pretty. Ah, uh, that kind of sounds like a recording, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, actually. Uh, I think I'm just gonna continue trudging Hello. forward now. Well, we're finally at the 150th floor. Congrats, Barry. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I haven't seen any of my previous notes. So that means either I'm getting somewhere or someone is taking them. I actually wonder how far that guy has gone into this mansion. Spooky said there's 1,000 rooms, right? Yeah, that's right. Damn. I can't imagine what horrifying shit we're gonna run into next. First a slime monster, then some weird creature that travels along the ceiling. What could even be next? I don't even want to begin imagining what might come next, man. Jesus fucking Christ, not this guy again. Well, while Obama is running for his life, I wanted to ask if you guys have been checking out my election campaign. I've been making some big moves, man. 
Oh yeah, my boy Donald became a fry cook for a day, flipping burgers and serving fries. That was pretty funny to see, not gonna lie. You seem to have a lot of fun doing it though. Oh shoot, I did see that. I wasn't expecting you to make moves as soon as you got back to the States, Donnie. I figured you'd relax a little bit. Nah, I figured I'd keep on grinding. I can't let Kamala catch up to me, you know? Also check this shit out, boys. Boom! I'm driving a garbage truck. You're goofy as hell with your publicity stunts, Donald, but I'm not gonna lie, I feel like that shit really works in your favor. Hey, you gotta try and resonate with the younger generation, you know? Fair enough. Oh, what the hell? We're in a school now. Of all the things I was expecting, I wasn't expecting us to run into a school area. I have no idea what the monster here would be, though. Well, it seems like we're alone for the most part. Maybe there isn't a monster for this section? I don't know about that, Don. I think there's definitely a monster of some kind lurking these halls, seeking to eat our flesh or uh, something like that. Well, that room was empty, so I guess I'll just check these rooms next, I suppose. Yeah, it's always good to be thorough, Barry. What the hell? Why are there shadow people in the room? Well, damn it, I should have guessed they'd hurt me. They surprisingly don't do that much damage. I figured they'd do more. Yeah, same here. Well, I'm gonna keep on looking around. No use in sticking around longer than we have to. Random question. And this applies to viewers, too, if you feel like responding in the comment section below. But what is your guy's favorite candy? Ooh, I fucking love Starburst. The red and pink flavors are fucking fire, though I don't really like the yellow ones. Of course you leave us with only the yellow ones, man. I can't help myself, man. I need the red and pink ones or else I'll fucking combust and explode and then I'll die. Yeah, I call bullshit on that claim. But anyways, I fucking love smoked salted caramels. That shit is fucking gas. Y'all should try it. Well, I love cotton candy. That shit is amazing. Facts. I like jelly beans. Wait, what? What the fuck is that? Holy shit, run! Fuck, it's locked. Run, Obama, run! God fucking damn, that gave me a fucking heart attack, dude. Yeah, no kidding. I thought my ass was cooked when I found out that door was locked. Dude, I was not expecting there to be some scary-ass ghost lady chasing your ass when you went down that hallway. Jesus Christ. Well, it's safe to say that we fucking lost her by this point. And now that we're finally hitting floor 200, this is where the video will unfortunately have to come to an end, guys. Well, I'm guessing that's the guy who was leaving us notes to find, huh? Anyways, uh, if you enjoyed the video, then how about dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button so you won't miss another upload from us. And be sure to join the AI Force One server if you enjoy President's content. We're a flourishing community with lots of wonderful content creators and fans who love President's content. The Discord link will be shown on screen and in the description of the video. Before we take off, we'd all like to wish you a damn good Halloween. Be sure to eat lots and lots of candy. And make sure to scare the shit out of your friends. And with that, the presidents are signing off, fellas. We'll be seeing you soon.